from what they came up with, everybody who played a role in this, they knew that Money Bag Yo, he was the silent one in this whole case. When a Young Dolph incident happened, when Young Dolph went in this cookie shop, everybody knew for a fact that it was going to eventually come back around and a lot of people in CMG name was going to get brought up in this. Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, Big Juke, Govan, Straight Drop, Cornelius Smith, Glorilla. It literally made them a target regardless of what's going on because the way that they targeted Big Juke, the way that they targeted Young Dolph, it was a casualty to what happened with Yo Gotti and how Yo Gotti got in his feelings. So a lot of people looking at it like the feds not finna play no games. As soon as they kick in, they're going to see how he cannot leave the country because he's facing a Rico for what happened with Young Dolph. R.P. Young Dolph, throw them Dolphins down in the comment section. Let me know if you're a fan of Young Dolph. Multiple witnesses on the scene are stating that it was more of a shootout. There was over 100 people in that building and outside they were going back and forth. They literally blocked in the, with the white Ford Explorer, Yo Gotti's car, so that he couldn't leave the scene, trapping him there to have to see it through. It wasn't a robbery. They came on a strategic hit. In most situations, they will take something from the rappers because they know that they have a lot of money. But in this case, they said they would just do it for free for justice for young Dolph. Big Jeff knew this was coming. He had gotten multiple text messages from the persons who had planned the hit, hence the post he had made on Instagram just hours before his demise. He wrote, they don't want to face you. 